I'm Fiona from Peachy Cupcakes and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a delicious chocolate birthday cake which you can make for a friend, housemate or family member. For the chocolate cake the ingredients you'll need are 200 grams of softened butter, 200 grams of caster sugar, 4 eggs, 140 grams of plain flour, 60 grams of cocoa powder, a pinch of salt and 2 teaspoons of baking powder. The first thing you need to do for the chocolate cake is pop your softened butter in the bowl, add your sugar and beat until they go pale and fluffy. Okay, I'm going to add my pinch of salt and the two teaspoons of baking powder to the flour. Which we then sieve into the mix. So I've put half the flour in, we're going to add half the eggs now then the rest of the flour and then we'll finish with the rest of the eggs and mix it well. Once that's all mixed together, you want to add your cocoa powder and mix well. I've pre-prepared two smallish um, cake tins by buttering them and then adding greaseproof paper. So now we can split the mixture evenly between the two tins. Put it in the oven for 180 degrees C for 30 to 40 minutes. For the chocolate buttercream you'll need 250 grams of butter, 500 grams of icing sugar, 100 grams of good dark chocolate, 1 to 2 boxes of chocolate fingers, a punnet of strawberries is optional. For the chocolate buttercream I've got my icing sugar in the bowl, I'm just going to add all of the softened butter and then combine the mix together until it's nice and fluffy. I've melted the 100 grams of chocolate for the buttercream, I've let it cool, so now we can add it to our ice, our ice cream and butter. Stir this all in and then you get an evenly chocolatey buttercream. So what we're going to do now is just sandwich the two cakes together with the buttercream and then we'll cover the whole lot with the buttercream. So I've covered the whole thing, uh, what you could do is sandwich the cake together and then cover the top and then it's the perfect birthday cake, but we're doing something a little bit more special. So what I'm going to do around the side is just using chocolate fingers, just cover the side of the cake. Okay, so we're just going to finish this cake off with some fresh fruit on the top. And it's as easy as that. So I hope you have fun trying this recipe and look out for other recipe videos on the Bucks YouTube channel.